So hello everybody, welcome to lecture number four in the course Foundations of uh, Language Technology. My name is Stefan Eger and um, if you want to prepare something for this week then you can prepare uh, the basic uh, concepts and definitions from the last lecture. Also check the example solutions of the practice class Go ahead, read chapters 4 to 4.6 in the NLTK book. And of course, you should make very sure that you have a solid understanding of the basic Python, uh, of the Python basics that, that we have learned so far. So as always, we make a brief summary of the, of the last lecture. So what we learned about Python in the last lecture was um, how to make uh, doc strings, uh, which are very useful because it allow the readers to um, to know what your function is supposed to be doing, and you can use this this nice Python functionality such as typing in help with any uh, class or uh, function that you've written, and you get a brief documentation of what it's doing. Uh, we've also learned about the lambda calculus uh, in this example here. We had uh, a list of words uh, which uh, we stored in the variable send. send. Uh, we had two functions. The first function um, took another function. So it's a function that takes a function as your argument, then returns, um, returns this function applied to each element in, this, in the sequence. So here we have the um, the sequence not given as an argument, but like uh, using the sequence as a uh, as a global variable, and we can sometimes do this in Python. Uh, and then we had um, if the function was uh, just to get the last letter, then we can uh, put our function into the other function, and for each word in the sentence, we would get the last letter, and we can equivalently do this with this lambda notation here. So this is also a convenient way. Uh, that uh, helps us, uh, then makes life easier because then we do not always have to write down um, the function in explicit form. We have learned how to sort uh, to sort like uh, sequences, for example, uh, a, a sequence of words. Um, we have seen that we can apply the sort function. There's also a built-in Python structure sorted. And how to do sorting in Python that changes every now and then. So uh, that changes from Python 2 to Python 3. So if you're in doubt how to do it in your Python version, look it up on, for example, on Stack Exchange. We have seen how to use different types of sequences, such as strings, lists, and tuples, and what their differences are. Uh, we've also seen the very important data structure of a dictionary, which allows to map uh, between arbitrary types. So in this example here, we have um, a dictionary uh, which we call POS, which stands for part of speech. Uh, and then we can add, we can assign to the POS dictionary that the word colorless is an adjective, that the, the word ideas is a noun, the word sleep is a verb, etc. So this is a very convenient data structure that, uh, that you may want to use uh, very frequently in Python. So that's it for the recap. Now we start with uh, this lecture.